In this video, we're going to talk about the box plot, also known as a box and whisker plot. Okay, so let's draw a box plot. What do we need? Well, first we're going to need the five number summary. In this case, you can see it has a minimum value of two. Quartile number one is eight. Median is 10. Quartile number three is 14. And the max is 20. Okay. First thing we want to do is to draw a number line. I'm going to draw the number line horizontally. You can draw it vertically if you want. Now this might be a little bit unconventional, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the structure of my box plot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a dot right above each of these values that I have. So minimum value of two, I'm going to put a dot right above two. Quartile number uh, one, I'm going to put eight, a dot over eight. And then I'm going to put a dot at median 10, a dot at 14 for my third quartile, and my maximum value of 20. Now, these dots give me an idea of how to draw the box plot. The box itself is drawn between quartile number one and three. So let me draw the sides and then the top, or the top and the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the whisker. Whiskers will go from quartile three to the max value. And my other whisker is gonna go from quartile number one to the minimum. And then to finish off, I'm gonna draw a vertical line where my median is going to be located. And there it is. All right, let's try another example. I'm going to need a number line. This time I'm going to start at 30 and reach all the way up to 90. And I'm going to space the numbers out. And then I'm going to put a dot uh, over 36 for the minimum value. Then the first quartile, 45. And then the next dot at 60. Uh, 70 for quartile number three and the max 82 now the median of course is at 60 okay now I'm going to draw the box that's going to be between quartile number one through quartile number three so I'm going to draw the sides top and the bottom then the whiskers I'm going to go for quartile number three to the max and then the other whisker from quartile number one to the min and then draw a line uh, for the median, and there it is. Now, what's the box plot used for? Well, here's one example. Let's say you have some salaries, right? And this is a skewed distribution. And here's the following data. You have 464 points. Uh, uh, the mean is about 4.2 million. You have a, a minimum of 26,000 approximately and a max of 40 million. So it's a big spread. Usually salaries have that right uh, skewed distribution. Now, if I want to draw the box plot and draw a number line, I'm going to put it underneath the histogram to show you uh, an idea. Okay, so I need a min dot at 26,000. I'm going to approximate it. Let's say it's right there. First quartile is about 1.3 million, we'll say it's there. We've got a median of 2.5 million, which is about there. Quartile number three is uh, 5.2 million, let's say it's right there. And a max all the way to 39, approximately $39 million. Okay, I draw my box and my whiskers and the median. Okay, so what's the point on these box plots? You can see that 75% of the data is crunched up here between the minimum value of 26,000, approximately 26,000, all the way to the third quartile, 5.2 million. So um, the box plot doesn't tell you how high or the frequency of the data. What it tells you more is about is the data kind of grouped together? And you can see that a lot of the data is grouped between the minimum value and quartile number 
3. And of course, the uh, quartile 3 all the way to the max, which is this place right there, it says 25% of the data is in that location, which is really spread out. Sometimes um, you have more than one box plot, and um, having those box plots put them together, you can also tell how the distribution is distributed. Um, box plots can also help you and understand how the data spread, um, which of course there's a numerical value for that, which is, would be the variance.